Contrary to popular belief, humanity is a state of death. In actuality, you are gods, you are divine beings, but you descended from actuality and left the state of being a divine being and you went into a lower reality, into a state of human being. And so once you left the state of actuality and descended into a lower reality, you dearly departed into duality. Think about what duality indicates. Duality indicates that you are in a sense split. Think about the fact that we say I have a higher version or a lower version. You're not supposed to be saying I have a different version. You're supposed to be in a state of singularity. You're supposed to be in a state of oneness. Think about the terms that you're using. Think about the terms that you're using. You're, you're speaking the truth and you're not aware of it. And so, as I was saying earlier, you are a divine being. You are a God. You're not a human. And so when you went into when you descended into a lower reality, you now live in a world underneath that which you truly are. You live in an underworld in a sense. And this is why you have to ascend back into oneness, back to God. And ascending back to God simply means you're ascending back into the identity of equilibrium to God. Think about why you have to do that. Because when you descended into this physical reality, you took on the body has a brain. And that brain reciprocates the earthened narrative. Think about the fact that you are neutral energy. You are neutral energy in essence. And think about how a school says this color is yellow. This is a car. This is the president. This is a building. This is a truck. Once you took on that information, once that information was programmed into you, your persona, the neutral energy began to mold into a persona. And so the very persona that you are was created by this simulation. So the human state of being can't escape the simulation because the human state of being was created by the simulation. Think about what the word simulation means. It means to pretend. Everything that you tend to is preset. The kids are either going to win the soccer game or they're not. Um, I'm going to get the job or I'm not. I'm either going to do this or I'm not. Everything that you tend to is already preset, which means you are pre Tending. In actuality, you are unlimited energy, but that unlimited energy has been depressed into a limited state of being, which is human being. And this is why you must dissolve the human state of consciousness and go back into divine state of being, which is love. Love is not an act. Love is not something you do. Love is your original, uninfluenced state of being. Love is your unconditional, uninfluenced state of being. And this earthen narrative, the character that you created, is represented by conditions. We live in our little houses, our households. And we love those in our households. We confess our love to those in our limited narratives. Yet, in essence, all is love, all is harmony. So we live in a separate state, state separated from each other, separated from harmony. We have been conditioned. 
In essence, you are spirit, you are air, but that air has been conditioned into a depressed state of being. And so in this limited state of being, you live out this little earthen reciprocation that has been programmed into your brain. And that is a state of death. Routine is a state of death because as I said, you are unlimited. So to be sleep is to have this routine consciousness reciprocating within you. To be awake is to awaken to who you truly are in essence, which is a God, which is love, which is unlimited consciousness, but you descended into a lower degree of consciousness. This is why I tell people it's not beneficial to check their lineage. And when people check on their descendants, everything here, you must understand that everything within this lower realm as neutral energy, we descended into this lower realm and took on these physicalities. And once we did that, the brain now reciprocates the earth and narrative. So it's not a matter of checking on the narrative after we descended into physical beings. The goal is to dissolve the consciousness of the identity that represents who you are not. Once I dissolve who I am not, it is revealed who I am. Who I am is already. But an identity of being a chef, a lawyer, a cook, and this and all of these identities of this pretense have been programmed and my neutral energy conformed into that persona. So once I alchemize that by shifting into a higher consciousness, by releasing the identity that I am not, by surrendering this human state of being, all that I am will be simply revealed. And it's just that simple. Everything that causes your suffering is because you're living a state of being in which you are not. In the unlimited consciousness, there is no suffering because there is no expectation of anything. You are a free being not living under the subjection of what was created in this limited reality. You return to a God as a creator. of reality.